I did what they call a repower. If you notice, I don't have my Dorsey trailer. Alright, good morning. Monday morning. We uh, delivered our slinky coils this morning over in Louisville. We're down here at Mercer at the driver's lounge, the parking lot. We're plugged in. Uh, I discovered a problem. So you see that airline right there? See how it's cracked? And I'm pretty sure it was this, uh, this uh, wire sheathing that caused that problem so we got to replace that today this one over here let's take a look here this one over here looks pretty good we might replace this one just to have both of them replaced but you see how it doesn't have that plastic uh, oh, I can't think of the name of it but that's what was digging into that hole right there so so that's our job for today. I'll do some laundry.
Now we got the old one off. Yeah, that's that plastic was digging into that. That's what caused that. So I'm gonna go down to parts store. See if they got another one of these. All right, it's a little noisy out here, but I found the right hose. I ended up having to go to Peterbilt to get the hose. Looks pretty good. Doesn't take long at all to put on. Zip tied ABS wire up. I did check clearance to make sure when the hood's down, it doesn't rub on that hose. And that's similar to the way this one's set up over here. So you can see. So this one sticks up just a little bit taller. But uh, I did check the clearance. It's not touching the hood. All right. I don't know what I'm gonna do next. All right, good morning. We're in Michigan. It is Wednesday morning. I did what they call a repower. If you notice, I don't have my Dorsey trailer. So uh, this load originated down in Louisiana. I had. Uh, the driver's truck broke down over there in Louisville so uh, I picked it up to bring it up to Michigan but uh, this is what we got we got about 30 miles to go let's uh, let's go get this load off this trailer and then um, we'll stop We'll stop and uh, take a look at this trailer a little closer. Compare it to our Dorsey trailer. All right, we got the poles uh, delivered. So this is a Mercer trailer, meaning if you sign on with Mercer, you can lease a trailer from Mercer. They're usually pretty basic trailers. They, uh, they'll come with two boxes on them. This, uh, this guy here, he's pretty new. So he's probably only been there a few months. But, Fontaine trailer. Fontaine's got this unique rub rail thing. I'm not too sure if I'm a fan. 
it gets damaged, it's really hard to fix. But this thing's heavy too. This thing's a lot heavier than my uh, Dorsey. I can feel it back there. But uh, I don't know what, what year is this one. Manufactured April of 23. So it's a pretty new trailer. All right, so how a repower load works is, uh, for example, this load came out of Louisiana. It was supposed to deliver up in Michigan. Uh, if the truck breaks down, then you have to get a repower. And uh, the money to pay the driver for the repower is taken out the, of the original load. Um, the one thing to remember about the money for a repower, because basically you're paying a guy to pick up your trailer, go to deliver your load, and bring your trailer back um, so uh, that's usually how it works there's no set fee or anything um, sometimes it's negotiated between the two drivers but uh, it uh, it can hurt you know especially your trucks in the shop now if you guys remember what four or five years ago four years ago when I uh, blew the motor in the white truck uh, I was under a load when that happened and I had to get a repower and uh, I pretty much just, uh, I gave the guy pretty much all of the revenue for the load. Hang on a second. There's a guy on a lawnmower going by. Baylor's going nuts. So that's kind of how the repower works. So uh, I picked this, the loaded trailer up from the shop, the repair shop down in uh, Louisville deliver the load and then I'll bring his trailer back to him now sometimes hang on a second now sometimes you can get lucky and you can reload uh, but you gotta bring the guy's trailer back to him so now the way the trailers work at Mercer if you sign on with Mercer you can lease a trailer through Mercer uh, and I believe the way it works, Mercer doesn't own the trailer. Uh, every trailer, now don't, don't mark me on this words, but uh, when I bought my trailer, which was a long time ago, I bought my trailer through Mercer, my very first trailer. Uh, every trailer at the time when I bought mine had 60 payments. So if a guy got the trailer brand new and he only worked for 30 months and then he quit and he left the trailer the next guy got gets 30 payments left on that trailer so when I got my trailer at Mercer I asked them I said well which one of these trailers has got the fewest number of payments on it and he said we got one trailer that's only got 18 payments left on it so it doesn't keep rolling over for the new guy it gets another 60 so far as I understand Mercer doesn't make money off of the trailers it is a uh, convenience and as I was told it is a recruiting tool to um, let people sign on that doesn't have, that don't have a trailer now the one thing about Mercer trailers is you can buy out your lease so I know a couple guys at Mercer who you know you get down to I don't know say twenty thousand dollars left on your trailer and you want to trade your trailer in for a new Dorsey aluminum trailer, the, uh, as long as you pay off your remaining balance on your lease, you can trade that trailer in. So if you own, if you owe $20,000 on it, you, uh, and they'll give you $25,000 for it. As long as you pay off the, the, uh, the lease, then you can trade it in. So, uh, for any of you Mercer guys that are looking for a nice aluminum trailer, or even Dorsey's got a good steel combo trailer. Uh, let me know. Send me a message, and I'll put you in touch with a guy uh, at Dorsey. He's got they got a pretty good uh, dealer network that uh, will work with uh, if you want to trade in a trailer, or even if you're a regular guy and you want to trade in a trailer, you want a Dorsey trailer. Let me know. I'll get you a phone number. Oh man. Okay, so we got about. 350 miles back down to Louisville today. Uh, don't have a reload yet out of Louisville. 
Uh, there's there was nothing up here to load going right down to Louisville. Nothing easy. Like I said, I don't have all my equipment. Uh, there's some straps on this trailer in this trailer, but other than that. So uh, so anyway, let's make our way down to Louisville and figure out what we're going to do.